just to start out, we're just going to open some mussels and pippies. Mussels and pippies, we basically, very hot pan, open the mussels and pippies we were talking about. So quite a high heat. Open those, remove those. We always um, cook all of our vegetables in, um, basically, either in sous vide. So what I've got is just two whole cloves of raw garlic. They go in, straight into the Thermomix, and uh, got the parsley. Okay, so what I've got here is just some oil and a little bit of water. If you're looking for a, a sort of a mild green herbal sort of flavor profile. Am I yes, that's right. Yep, yep. And we're just going to dress the mussel and pippi with that. A little bit of chives. You can, add, you can uh, season to taste as well with a little bit of lemon juice. Just start with a little, start with the mussel and pippi. We've got the uh, smoked potato mousse. So in here I've just been smoking some potatoes. So all it is is wood chips in a steamer situation. Hickory wood chips hickory. at the bottom of a dry wok. And they're yep. just heated so that it starts giving off smoke. That's uh, right. And then the potatoes on a rack above. Once they've been smoked, we just drop them into the milk straight into the thermo. To create the texture that we need, a nice smil silky smooth puree, we uh, add a little xanthan gum. It's just an emulsifier, a thickener. It's made, it's, it's made from seaweed, it's, um, so it's uh, very good for vegetarians as well. This one is thickened up quite a bit, so I'm just gonna let it out with a little milk. So what I would do is put it into the, put it a little bit into a siphon like this and um, charge the siphon. And what, we, what we end up with is the smoked potato mousse, which is right, quite smil smooth and silky and has a lot of texture. We, we're just going to garnish with a little bit of samphire. Just a couple of, um, couple of shoots. We also have borage flowers, which, is, um, which uh, actually tastes a little like oyster or, or, or the sea. The buckalow is just being bagged up in olive oil. So with the skin on, because I think the skin has a, a lot of texture. So the buckalow is very tender, and this is the buckalow mussel pippies and uh, smoked potato mousse. 